Students in the whole mentoring program were given a surprise treat during a visit to the Microsoft campus in Redmond. Preparing for a career doesn't have to wait until high school. See how schools around the district partner with tech companies for a week of code. All this and more coming up. You're watching First Bill on SBS TV. Hey SPS, I'm Sophia Charchuk. And I'm Teresa Scribner. Thanks for joining us for our very first episode of First Bell, where we chime in with news from around the district. This show was created to highlight all the great things happening in our schools and to keep you informed on the latest news. We want our SPS students to be a part of the production too. I'll tell you more about how you can be involved later in the show. But for now, let's get into it. Hundreds of students across the district participated in Week of Code in December with help of volunteers from Amazon and Google. As part of the week, participating schools got a one-hour introduction to computer science. Lessons were designed to engage students at every grade level and to get them thinking about careers in technology. At Lowell Elementary, Lisa Alfin was excited to introduce her third graders to experts from Google. She said, when it comes to computer programming, waiting until high school to start thinking about a career is too late. So I think this coding week and coding in general with uh, younger grades is essential. Uh, by the time that kids get to high school, um, they already have set in their mind whether they understand coding. Dr. Keisha Scarlett is the Assistant Superintendent of Academics for SPS. She had a front row seat to watch Lowell students create animations. She recognized the importance of representation in technology fields. The first point of intersection for kids is just them being able to see themselves in the world of STEM and coding as well, right? So having the representation that Google brought out today is really impactful. Many students um, don't have the social networks that give them the opportunity to even see themselves in STEM careers, so just having this partnership in and of itself is really important. If you missed out on this opportunity to participate in Week of Code, don't worry, there will be more events like this coming up. We'll keep you posted. Elementary students weren't the only ones getting exposed to careers in technology. High school students in the whole mentoring program traveled to the Microsoft campus for a lesson in career exploration and mentorship, and they received some cool surprises along the way. The field trip was organized by Whole Mentoring, an SPS program that provides ninth and 10th grade black male students with culturally responsive mentorship. The event was sponsored by Blacksat Microsoft and the Seahawks. Charles Cross, the team's new offensive lineman, showed up to offer words of encouragement to the boys. This is very important to me because I see myself with a lot of these, uh, a lot of these kids, uh, just growing up, you know, still learning about myself and the world itself. So I'm just here, you know, to help any way I can, whether it's just talk to them or give them advice or answer any questions that they have. Cross, along with members of Blacksat Microsoft, surprised each student with a new laptop. During a discussion about careers with Microsoft employees, the students learned the value of having a mentor. Taking having a mentor more seriously. I was told that a lot, but I didn't really listen. And looking back, if I would have had like a, a, an older teacher or even an older friend, it doesn't have to be necessarily an authority figure to, to just lean on for certain things that I might not have gone to more house and I might not be in a position I am right now. To drive home the importance of representation in tech, the event was led by all black facilitators. Many of them wore gear from black sororities and fraternities or historically black colleges and universities. It was one of the subtle ways that Blacks at Microsoft showed the boys in whole mentoring that anything is possible. If you wanna sign up for whole mentoring as a student or as a mentor, you can find more information on our website. We've got a few more things to tell you, so get ready for The Rundown. New student registration is now open for the 2023-24 school year. All registration is online. To learn more about our schools and district resources, stop by the SPS Admissions Fair on Saturday, January 28th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the John Stanford Center. The Amazon Future Engineer Scholarship awards high school seniors with a $40,000 scholarship and a guaranteed paid internship at Amazon. The deadline to apply is January 20th. At the end of each episode, we'll be shouting out all the brilliance around the district. Since January is School Board Recognition Month, we're shouting out our school board directors. 
The National School Boards Association presented our school board with the 2022 Council for Urban School Excellence Award. The board was recognized for its excellence in governance, academic improvement, and educational equity. Congratulations to our board directors. If you know someone who deserves a shout out, email us at goodnews at seattleschools.org. If you want to learn more about these stories, visit our website. And if you're a student in SPS with an interest in storytelling, videography, or if you want to be an anchor on the show, hit us up at publicaffairs at seattleschools.org. That's it for this episode. I'm Teresa Scribner. And I'm Sophia Charchuk. We'll see you next time for First Bell. Bell.